Hello, my name is Zombie78, and welcome back to a new YouTube video. Today, we're going to make a voting system to where if you hit the button or get a notification on your watch, you can choose one of the options, and after the delay ends, it, it will play either one or two audio clips or whatever you want it to play. Okay, so let's get started. <clears throat> okay, so we have our vote button. Let's get a prompt player chip. So when you press the button, you get the button prompt for this. Yes, prompt local player. And when you hit the button, you'll get the prompt now the prompt title can be whatever you want i like to make this the question so i'll be like pick a side and i'm going to put the answers down here so i'm going to be like r for red and b for blue it's nice to make it simple like that or give them a lot of time to choose so now after that we're going to get a equals and if chip equals and if if and we're going to copy these two down just like this Now, um, we're going to connect this, and we're going to name this each. I'm going to make the bottom one blue, and I'm going to make the top one R. So, depending on which one you type in, this will activate each one. So, I'm going to make it where if it's complete, this will activate and see which one is true. Because you can hit the prompt. And you don't need to pick OK or answer. People will hit, just hit cancel and it will go out of it. That's why when you hook it up to fail, mm, mm. if you try to hit cancel, mm, mm. it will just come mm, back up. Mm. Of course, if you hit OK, this activates and it goes through each one, but then it doesn't activate again. So we'll also put the else at the end over here. So now, mm. no matter which one you pick, mm. pants mm. are okay, it'll work. Mm. Just worry about CPU heat because you can get an error for being out of CPU heat. Now that we're done with that, let's get a delay chip. The delay is going to be how long it takes us to get the decision we're trying to get. And since we just need to type in R or B, I think 8 seconds is plenty. And this will activate the second anyone presses the button. Now we're going to get a int variable. So just type in int V and it will come right up. I'm going to place this down here with an add chip. We're going to connect this to the thin, not else. Else goes down here. And we're going to do the same for the bottom one. So make sure to copy the int variable. A second time to like this. Next, we're going to rename our int variables because since each of these are going to be different options, we need them to be a different name so it doesn't affect each other. So I'm going to name the top one R and I'm going to name the bottom one Blue. Or B for blue. 
Next, we want to have them sync because if they aren't sync, then the answers aren't going to add up. So if you have two people vote for R, it's just going to be one instead of two. We want it to be two, so we're going to make it sync. Next, we're going to connect these together and have it go up by one. Each time a person hits the vote button, uh, it will go up here and it will choose what they voted for. And if it's R, then it will add one. And if it's B, it will also add one. Next, we're going to get a max chip. We're not going to get list max. We're just going to get a regular max chip. And we're going to get the max value of both of our votes combined and see which one has the max value. And right now, since both of them are zero, both of them are going to have the max value. But if R had two, then this will be two. Next, we're going to get a... Uh, equals two chip again we're just going to copy these ones over going to get both of these and copy them over we also want to have a less than or equal chip and if chip again so first we're going to check if the um, max score is zero or less than zero. This is so if nobody votes, then it's just going to choose a random uh, one to vote. But if this is not zero, then we're going to put this right here. And we're going to match it against the score. So if I have a 2 on red and a 1 on blue, it's going to pop out the max value, which is 2. Then it's going to see if the 2 equals each of these, which this is not 2. It's going to be 1. So it's not going to equal nothing. And this is 2, so it's going to equal the max value. Therefore, this is going to be true. Okay, so after the delay happens, it's going to go over here and see all of this. And um, after it is done, we're actually going to get the blue and red int variables. And based on which one is true, it's going to just... Um, well, actually, I'm going to set this up with a sound effects chip. Why not? Yeah, I'm going to set this up with a sound effects chip. So, one, two. You can set this up with anything you want. I'm going to use a sound effects chip. We're going to make sure the sound effects chips are synced. This one is going to be a beat. And this one is going to be a boot up sound. So if red has more votes, it's going to play this beep sound. If blue gets more votes, it's going to play this boot up sound. And if none of these get any votes, then it's going to go into a random int variable. So get a random int int variable well it's not variable just random int and we are going to have it so if this random int is equal to one well zero or one it will activate each of these So copy the equals and if chip up here. 
and we're going to connect the value to this. This one's going to be zero, and this one's going to be one. And this is what, so it's going to be random if the max is zero and no one votes. It's going to pick a random number. And based on that number, it's going to choose these values. And after it chooses the values, it's going to reset all the scores to zero. So now if I uh, mm -hmm. click on vote and I do red, you're going to hear a beep. If I vote for blue, then you're going to hear a boot up sound. And if more people vote for one thing than the other, then like I said, it's going to choose that over this. And if no one votes, it's going to be random. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.